What's happening everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys a preview video of the game Golden Forest on Nintendo Switch and other platforms. Our friends over at Pixel Heart hooked us up with an advanced copy of the game because the game launches at the end of January in 2021. I'm really excited to show this to you guys because this game is actually very fun. I have been playing a little bit of it off screen to kind of get used to the controls. And if you guys like side scrolling platformer little beat em ups, then you guys are going to be absolutely at home with this one. Now, at the same time, our friends over at Pixel Heart have done a very, very generous giveaway that we're going to be giving you guys all the details about at the end of the video. But just know that five of you guys in the comment section are going to be going home with a copy of this game. And that is so generous. So stick around. It's going to be amazing. And enjoy. So here we go. Uh, we got a whole bunch of different uh, pirates. And these guys are all... Uh, ready to go find some treasure and they're looking for gold so it's the average pirate story but the beauty about this game is it's a lot like uh, if you've ever played shovel knight or hollow knight if you ever played those kind of 2d side scroller games you'll be right at home with this and i like it because it can appeal to casual people who just want to go through the story but it can also appeal to experts who want to try to master everything about a level there's collectibles there's a combo meter you get ranked based on how well you did and how fast you did it. So like there's there's just so much to do in this. So anyway, uh, really excited for it. But as you can see right on screen over here, we got a, your main character uh, is going to be moving around and you could do a little three hit combo with your sword. You can do a slide into like a three hit combo, which is like a four hit right over there. And then you can also do a dash attack where the dash over here allows you to extend your jumps. So that's also very, very fun. So you can do that. You can kind of like stall your landing with some other swipes. It's actually really fun. So uh, what, right now I'm playing on my PC, but of course we're all gonna be playing this game on Nintendo Switch when it comes out. So keep that in mind. So anyway, we're out here right now, gonna be trying to uh, make sure that we don't get taken by this dude. And we wanna knock out General Salsa in the eyeball. And he actually just spits out some things and you can throw them right back at him for like 1% to pop. But don't get hit. Oh, wow. Anyway, there's also a charge up slash. If you do your main attack, you can do that. But you'll also see over here that you can do all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, so the, the dive attack absolutely does 2% a pop. And it comes out real quick. I don't want to swim. <laughs> I don't want to lose it, man. All right, so we got him at 33 health over here. He's got his little attacks here. We're not going to worry about a single one of those because we can dodge them very well. Oh, dude, he's at 33, but he's taking these hits and it's not giving him any damage. Whoa, hey, okay. Yeah, we're going to stay over here because I do not want to be in the torrential... Uh, Water is right underneath there. Sorry. Excellent. All right. Y'all ready? Here we go. Dude, only 8% left? Like, come on. Oh, I got a hit. I took one hit in this battle already. I can go down there and get him. I really can. But I'm just going to wait. Done. Salsa is out of here. Let's go. What's up, dude? Oh, you telling me to dash? All right, that's great. Nice to know you. <laughs> oh, you can press that to dash upwards. Interesting. Interesting. No, dude, we've, we've tested out of this dude's class right here. So anyway, uh, you can see that we are done with the very first level. We got our very first boss done and we're pumped up and ready to go. So this is the overworld map. It looks really great because there's so many different areas that you can unlock. And it kind of makes me think, oh, hey, what's going on, right? I'm, I'm excited to see what's there. Uh, you'll also notice over here that we have Nacho Island, which is going to be World 1. And with Nacho Island, you have a whole bunch of different stages. 1-1, uh, 1-2, one, 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 three, one, four is where the boss is at. And then there's a secret stage, 1-B. And you'll also notice that there's four different icons on them, meaning that if you have the inner completionist inside of you, you can uh, go and find some different things. So anyway... You can be any one of these characters. This is Guts. 
Uh, this is uh, Spina, this is Drago, and this is Elder. So I'm just going to go with Spina right now because, I don't know, she's cool. She reminds me of, a, of another certain pirate that uh, may or may not have that same color hair. But anyway, uh, all the characters do control kind of the same. Uh, they just have different attack animations. So you're just going to move on through and do whatever you can, right? You want to collect as much money as you can too because the money is uh, is going to be used in the overworld in order to help you get even more power-ups and things like that. So definitely aim for getting that money and keeping your big combo meter up too. All right, so I'm going to hit that, break the door open, and we're going to be dashing through. Now, one of the things I like is that there are little cats, right? I love cats in real life and I love cats in video games. But this game is uh, totally does it for me because these cats are um they're actual you can destroy them and i don't know if i like that so i try not to attack the cats in the game i don't know if there's something that goes on with that like if you don't attack the cats but i try not to okay so again this uh this game has a lot of different uh platforming elements you want to be careful about your jumps one of the things too about this game that I like is that when you do a an attack, there's a little bit of invincibility frames on your character, so you're not necessarily going to get hit. But uh, yeah, you gotta be very careful about it. See, like there's a little cat right over here. Like I don't wanna attack them. But sometimes they get in the way and then they explode into blood and that's not my fault. Like that right there. That cat was just in the wrong place in the wrong time. Sorry, buddy. Oh my gosh, that one too. Like, my sword didn't even touch him. But, oh my gosh, that one too. Oh my, it's over. It's over. Anyway, cats. Okay, anyway. So we're going to continue on over here. You can see that we did get some ice powers. And with these ice powers, you can easily just go through these dudes and not even have to worry about them. Uh, right over here is going to be one of the collectibles in the, uh, in the level. You can see that I got the third one. Oof, wow. I got the third one over here. Uh, that means that I kind of missed out on some things. And here's a little bit of a cake that you can get. Oof, the cat. Sorry, cats. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's just a, a fest over here. I'm totally not trying to get these cats, but it just happens. Okay, so what we have on board here is a boss. It's like a sub-boss. So we want to watch out for him because he will destroy us if we're too close and he does have a predictable pattern so you can do a one two three hit and then jump upwards and then just do some work i have no idea how we're going to get those coins over there but uh you can see that the treasures do come out and we're going to be getting all of this yummy money we need it and moving on we're going to leave that cat alone that's enderman yeah we leave enderman okay so you can see over here this uh, you get graded based on how fast you did it how many of the little tokens you picked up uh, I got an A on the amount of money, I got an, a B on the time, and then the combo was about 84, so that's pretty good. Alright, so we're going to click on go right now. You can, uh, I guess, like, do some other options, but I kind of want to show you guys more of this game. Like, the art style looks really, really cute. And I think that the, uh, the developers who actually worked on this art style did an amazing job. Anyway. So we got some fire power up over here. Fire power up's good. It, it makes us even stronger. All right, so we can hit this at that. And the game just kind of teaches us, oh, hey, like you can not only, not only can you like attack, but you can launch some other items at people in order to get some stuff done. All right, so that thing died. Oh my gosh, dude, I got two health, man. I gotta be a little bit more careful. I'm kind of like running and gunning right now, uh, which is kind of like a play style that I usually do, but I gotta be a little bit more careful, especially with all these dudes. So destroyed that dude. Our combo's still here. I might lose. Oh my gosh, cats. Huh, huh. Yeah, all right. And here's a checkpoint just in case. So this is good. Here we go, got that call for help. When the gold gauge is at 100%. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't know what that is, but I'll have to figure it out. Oh, dude, I slid right into him. But that's fine. Like, apparently I got some more health somewhere. Maybe at the checkpoint or something. This guy's back. Oh, he did, like, his little backhand. Ooh, I dodged that one perfectly. Ooh, and I just ran into him for a hit. Oh, dude, yeah, right. All right, well, that's fine.
There we go. Get that gold gauge. Let's do it. Give me all of it. All right. Here we go. Moving on. Even more platforming. Let's see what we got to do. Okay, so these slugs are actually jumping on these platforms, and that's not nice. Oh my gosh. He's going to land on top of me, isn't he? Oh, there's a gold chest over here. Hold on. One does not simply. Dude, I should have just knocked out the slug. Look at this dude. Hold on. He's a little gremlin of sorts. Yo, destroyed him. He came right out of that chest. But right now, like, I gotta watch out because my health is very low. And I don't want to get hit by any of these pellets either. Nice. So I was able to use the little skull as a projectile to knock these dudes out. And oh, dude, I died! Ah, womp womp. That's okay. So, yeah, just kind of showing you guys that you can indeed die in the game. Uh, and then whenever you die, you're going to have to go back to the checkpoints uh, where you were a little bit earlier. So really not that big of a deal. Like you just keep going, right? And then the more that you play the game, the more you're going to understand that like, hey, you know what? There's things that you should do and things that you should like not do. Like me right here, just touching that guy, running into him. Yeah, I lost a piece of health, which is garbage. Um, but anyway, we're going to try to get to uh, exactly where we were at not too long ago. So, not too big of a setback. I'm just going to do this again. It was just this dude that, like, I ran out of invincibility frames, and then he just capitalized on me. So, whatever. All right. Not too big of a deal. We're going to move on. Okay. You can do a little bit of swimming over here. There's a swimming animation. Very cute. Here's another treasure chest, but uh, I'm good. I'm good for now. I want to get through this level, man. We're already we're already at a setback. Okay, yo, wow. Okay, well, hey, hi. <laughs> I'm like, did not expect that. All right, so we're gonna keep going. There we go. See, now we're using our little platforming skills in order to get some stuff done. Dude, really? Okay, hi. Oh my gosh. That was like a kind of a leap of faith. So luckily I had enough health in order to make that happen. Because if we didn't, then I would have been done in the water. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the first two uh, levels. Honestly, I didn't see any of those coins or any of the collectibles. Like I didn't do so hot. But that's okay. Like if you really want to 100% the game, which is the challenge, go for it, right? Anyway, I'm going to press the A button. We're going to do maybe a couple minutes of the next level. And then I guess we'll call it. I guess we'll call it a little preview video. Anyway, going swimming out here. Okay, so yeah, this is pipe mania. So I can go, oh, okay. So now I'm getting like a little bit of like Metroidvania. This kind of reminds me of Sonic. <laughs> it's like Sonic 2. Yo, dude, I'm, I'm getting owned by all these things because I can't see what's going on beneath me here. But you can attack any one of these fish uh, whenever you want to. And watch out for these little spike balls. So the redfish may be the ones that are going after me. Dude, get owned. Ouch. Okay, so I have to be a little bit more careful. Okay. A little bit more careful, he says. Yeah, right, I'm going to die. Oh, sweet. So I found a secret area in order to get the dead. <laughs> oh, wow. And since I didn't hit a checkpoint, we're all the way at the beginning here. All right, no worries. I got to show you a majority of the level, right? Uh, I guess I'll show you a little bit more of a different path that we can take since we kind of came across a different area, right? So maybe in these barrels, we can find some other things. Maybe a coin or something? I don't know. Maybe there's secrets in the wall here. Oh, man. But yeah, that's really what I wanted to show you guys. So thanks so much for watching. I'm going to leave you guys with the preview right here. I'm going to go hide in the bushes so these fish don't eat me. Um, but anyway, guys, so if you didn't already take a look, 
if you didn't take a look at Pixel Hearts website, it's all linked in the description right now. You guys can follow them on Twitter, follow their YouTube channel page. They've got a lot going on, and especially if you uh, go towards Nintendo Switch games, they've got a game called Okinawa Rush, they've got Golden Force over here, and they've got the Golden Force Mercenary Edition, uh, which you can absolutely pre-order. has a whole bunch of stuff like a t-shirt and a game and some other really fun things. So definitely consider looking at that. All right, so we talked a little bit earlier about a giveaway. They're giving away five copies of the game. So that being said, they're gonna be choosing five comments. The only comments they're gonna choose are ones that you guys tell us what you enjoyed most about the gameplay during this video. So the longer the comment, the better chances you are. So tell us, what did you guys enjoy most about Golden Force on Nintendo Switch? Did you guys uh, enjoy the art style? Did you guys like how cool the music was? I really like how smooth the gameplay is, to be honest. Like, I, I think it's really fun. Like, and even if you do die and you lose your five hearts, you can just jump back into the checkpoint and just keep on going, right? And I think that it's really fun and it's accessible to people who want to 100% the game. Like, I've got a motivation right now to go back to World 1-1 and try to find all the different coins and, like, see what kind of combos I can do in order to get a really, really good score. So anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys like more gameplay previews, definitely hit that subscribe button in order to join us. We just recently hit 850,000 subscribers. Huge, huge, huge benchmark. So thank you so much for all of that. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.